go. Okay. Hi, everyone. With the Extinction Rebellion going on all over the news, we thought we would make a video on how we are saving the environment. Here is a little clip on um, the Extinction Rebellion going on in our, t um, in our local town. The interview was done by one of our friends. Affinity Group for XR for Extinction Rebellion, and this is our um, street event. We are chalking the streets and um, offering leaflets to people about Extinction Rebellion. And we find ourselves with earlier on with <laughs> half a dozen eight children um, who, whose families are really interested in in the effects of climate change because they recognise that um, the bill for climate change is actually going to be passed on by the government <laughs> to the younger up and coming generation and we think this is wrong, unfair and putting a huge burden on the lives and health of young people. Um, so we are uh, part of a wider movement that uh, plans and carries out direct action but we subscribe to non-violent direct action all the time, every time. And if you listen carefully now, we are starting to <laughs> play our very next nice stage, music, which is to, which is to uh, do another uh, action uh, to the tune of children's nursery rhymes. And with Aww. any luck, we might have Bagpuss and the Tidying Up song. Oh, um, so lovely! As much help as you can get. Is what you need, yeah? Absolutely. So we, we are, um, uh, as I say, non-violent direct action organisation. Yeah. But we welcome all. <laughs> we, we welcome everybody. <laughs> we welcome everybody, young people, children, and we welcome to the extent that we start to become children again ourselves. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So we're very happy to be here. <laughs> Thank you so much. One of our biggest helps of all in saving the environment is our solar panels and solar tubes. Um, the solar tubes he help heat the water and the solar panels help give us energy, like green energy, to um, power our house. When you're self-sufficient and running a small holding, you do tend to be more environmentally friendly. And due to you gr growing your own crops and rearing your own animals, that cuts down on food mileage. Now to Sophie showing us some of the do, um, domestic products that we use. These are all of our products to help stop chemical waste or chemical waste in the environment. First of all I'm just going to say these are made out of plastic which is a bad thing but we reuse them and take them back to the shops to get refilled. The first thing I'm going to show you is this lovely toothbrush. This toothbrush is made out of bamboo wood which is an antibacterial wood. Lovely. The only bad thing about them is the bristles. Um, they're made out of nylon I think which is bad but the whole is better than a normal plastic toothbrush. Also they come in these pots mm -hmm. like cardboard boxes which also help the environment because you can recycle these. This is the toothpaste that we use. It's made from natural ingredients, fluoride free, and it doesn't have microplastic beads in it. It's better for us and better for the environment. Pass us another sweet. <laughs> Get it myself then. 
Tooth rot. Here is our deodorant that we use. Crystal stick deodorant by Faith in Nature. What you have to do really is dip it in water and roll it under your armpits. This won't give you cancer when you're older because it's chemical free. I don't think it has aluminium in. The other ones do have aluminium in, which is poisonous and clogs your pores up. These are our shampoo and conditioner that we use. They're organic and chemical free. Um, it comes in a range of flavours. Uh, here right now we have hemp and metal foam and conditioner. <laughs> <laughs> I meant coconut. <laughs> right, next we have these soaps. Chemical free soaps. They come in a range of stuff as well. This comes in a cardboard box. This right here is actually orange flavour. It's made by Faith in Nature again. These here, these three, oh gosh, are our cleaning products. This is vinegar and that's lemon. It gets rid of lime scale and stuff like that, like on the taps and in the toilet or something. This is for the washing machine, I think. So this is pretty good. It's chemical free, like all of them over here. Right then, these bags, every time we go shopping, we take these bags with us to stop buying Chemical uh, to stop buying plastic bags. To cut down on plastic waste, we have ordered a milkman to come and drop these off. He drops off fruit juices, which are these ones, and he drops off this, like milk. The full fat milk is delicious because it has loads of cream on top as well, so that's good. We put these glass bottles out the front when we're finished with them and the company collects them and sterilises them and they get reused over and over and over and over again. So you can't really trust the governments to sort out this problem because they're doing sod all about it really. They're just interested in money. The more money they can make the better and, and it's like F pollution, it doesn't really matter. Um, so it's up to us, it's up to the people to make changes and we're, we're going to have to make some pretty big changes thinking about it. But um, I'm, I'm desperately trying to save money because we, we've got a diesel car and I'm, I'm up to buy an um, electric vehicle. I'm after a Nissan Leaf. And the, the sad thing is that it, it's expensive, it costs a lot of money and I understand not everyone has that sort of... Um, money to be green even though they do want to be and um yeah we're saving like crazy to get this electric vehicle and um it, it'll help my conscience <laughs> will be better once i get that vehicle because my diesel is polluting and it's not good but yeah the the governments what the heck are they playing at they've seriously failed us so I strongly recommend that everyone supports Extinction Rebellion because they're all about saving the planet and I don't think we've got that long left to make these changes. Um, I hope this video has inspired you to start making changes and, and just buying like natural products that um, don't pollute the environment and things like that. Yeah, if, if everyone just made little small changes in their normal life then the world will slowly start to prove, uh, improve. Yes. So saying that, that's the end of our video. So thanks for watching everyone. And we'll see you real soon. Bye.